Times have changed. We now live in a world where side hustles are out earning traditional jobs by a lot. And just to put that into perspective, the side hustles that I'm about to go over can and have made people more money than a traditional job and a part-time job combined, all without doing anything unsafe or unethical. These are the most profitable side hustles. Hey, what's up? My name is Reggie Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can better yourself every single day and live life on your own terms. Let's get into this video. Believe it or not, when I was growing up, doing things like playing video games for extended amounts of times while yelling at the screen like I used to do was something that was looked down upon. The same thing went for sitting in front of a computer for a very long time or really sitting in front of anything with the screen for an extended amount of time, especially a TV because these things were seen as a waste of time and there were more productive things to do, like homework. The world has been turned upside down since then and what used to be looked down upon is now earning people around the world hundreds of thousands of dollars. And what I'm talking about here is sitting on a couch or in this case, a gaming chair for multiple hours a day playing video games professionally. I'm not sure how much you know about gaming, but it's an old vice of mine. And I'll tell you this, there's tons of popular games out there that have a massive fan base of people who one, really enjoy watching the gameplay, two, play at the competitive level, and three, would pay money to get really good at. For those who really enjoy watching the gameplay, there's a platform out there called Twitch where some of the best gamers in the world play video games in real time for their audience. And I'm talking about popular games like League of Legends, Minecraft, Overwatch, World of Warcraft, Fortnite. I can keep going, but I'm not. Now, streamers can make a ton of money just by simply building an audience in the comfort of their own homes. And it's because of the pure talent and knack they have for playing video games in addition to their personality, charisma, good looks, or some combination of those that builds that audience. In addition to donations their audience can give them during the live stream, they also get paid for every single subscriber. So per subscriber at the very minimum, they'll get paid $2.50 and they get ad revenue. I'm not even a Twitch expert or anything, but Twitch streamers can make even more money outside of what I just said. It's an extremely lucrative platform and of course you'll have to hit certain thresholds on the platform before you can start getting paid like that, but can you imagine? There's streamers out there like Ninja who have made half a million dollars every single month just on that platform alone. There's streamers out there like Pokimane who have built entire businesses out of their Twitch. You know how parents pay for tutors to help their kids with their homework or standardized testing? Yeah, well now parents are paying for tutors to help their kids improve at video games like League of Legends or Fortnite because they've learned that there is money to be made in video games. There's also competitions like esports where gamers around the world compete against each other in very popular games and there are several thousands of dollars to be made in these competitions. Especially when it comes to the top five players where in some cases they earn over $1 million in the competition and again, people would pay hundreds, even thousands of dollars to improve at a video game to get a piece of that. And while we're on the topic of improving, a big message for this entire video is that we live in the information age and people are starting to realize that by improving and seeking knowledge and information from people who've already figured something out is the quickest way to get to the results that they've been looking for. It just so happens that that knowledge and information costs money, which is where the side hustle of coaching comes from. Coaching is more than just general instruction from a random person. When you get a coach, like a legitimate coach, you're getting somebody who's extremely talented who can help you transform your progress in a specific area that you want to improve in. Coaches I had growing up were martial arts instructors, drumline instructors, and basketball coaches, but these guys would actually work with everyone in the room at the same exact time. So in this case, these are not the coaches I'm talking about. I'm talking about specialized one-on-one -on -one coaching. That's where the magic happens. Outside of the basketball games, NBA players have coaches that work with them individually. Same thing for tennis players, same thing for football players. And that's another thing I wanted to bring up. A lot of the things that people would pay money to improve on happen to be talent-based. And the reason I say that is because I understand that a lot of people don't feel like they're really talented at anything. And if you're one of those people who feels like that, I'm here to tell you, you're talented at something. Like me, I was never particularly talented at any sport. Like, I don't have the best hand-eye coordination, I'm not the fastest, definitely not the tallest, and I'm probably one of the clumsiest people you'll ever meet. So obviously, my talent isn't in sports. But as you can see in this video, talent goes far beyond physical and athletic capability. Your talent may be video games. You may be good at learning and understanding concepts. You may be good at teaching or writing, but there is something that comes naturally to you that someone would pay good money to learn. 
So I may not have been good with my athletic capabilities, but something that I've always been good at is building muscle. And when it comes to stuff like building muscle, someone who comes to mind is Corey Kaye, who has worked with several different celebrities, but most famously Michael B. Jordan. After Corey Kaye helped Michael B. Jordan transform his body for Creed 1, Black Panther, and Creed 2 through working with him one-on-one -on -one and people saw his results, do you think his business didn't explode? It doesn't just stop there. There's dating coaches, health and nutrition coaches, career coaches, business coaches, you name it, there's a coach for it. And the coaching isn't only profitable when it comes to money, but also when it comes to building the skills and experience of teaching people who then go tell other people about you, which makes even more people come to you to learn, which adds to your overall business skills and your marketability. And to go further into business skills, one of the smartest, most profitable things you can do is leverage the internet and capitalize on it. There's tons of ways to do that, but a really good way of doing that is through drop shipping. If you don't know what drop shipping is, it's when you find a product from a supplier, like say a coffee mug. So let's say you find a supplier that sells coffee mugs for $5. You would simply list that same exact item on your own website, except you would put a much higher price tag on it. So let's say you decide to sell it for $15. Well, that means anytime someone comes across your online store and wants to buy a coffee mug from you, they will put in their payment information, they would give you the $15, and they will put in their address because they think they're ordering it directly from you. But in reality, you'd go to the supplier's website and make the order on behalf of your customer. Meaning you'd spend five of that $15 on the supplier's coffee mugs, except instead of entering your address, you would put in your customer's address. That's $10 profit per coffee mug you sell. That's very hands off. The supplier does everything for you from storing the coffee mugs to packaging them and delivering them for you. It's extremely profitable. It isn't difficult to set up and you can start with pretty much zero dollars because you technically don't have to pay for anything until someone places an order through your online store. Now this may sound like a super simple business model that might make you an extra few hundred dollars every single month, which is still very good, but there's people out there like Kylie Jenner who has became a billionaire through drop shipping. And the genius behind this is building a completely hands-off business, which is your online store, while another entity as a whole just does all the heavy lifting for you. And a great way to scale this is through your influence on multiple social media platforms. Like Kylie has several millions of subscribers on multiple platforms, which makes it very easy for her to market her online store and her overall brand. Which brings me to my next point. Leveraging the internet doesn't just stop at building businesses through online stores and selling products. It's also very profitable for you to market yourself as an overall brand. And I know that sounds kind of weird, but it's true. The same way people grow to really like characters on TV shows and movies are the same reasons why people grow to like people on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. It's your quirks, it's what makes you tick, it's your sense of humor, your confidence, it's unique personality traits like that that make you relatable and makes people fall in love with you. And when people get invested in you, they tell more people about you, your following grows, and as a result, so does your personal brand. Leveraging online platforms to grow your overall personal brand is genius because at that point, you can channel all those extremely profitable side hustles that I just talked about through those platforms. And again, it all goes back to talent, something that you're naturally good at. So remember when I was talking about Pokimane and Ninja earlier? Well, instead of just having a Twitch, they also have YouTube channels with massive followings. And on top of that, they have merchandise that they sell, you know, like clothing and whatnot. Now, just for a second, I want you to imagine getting paid on Twitch for your live streams, right? And then recording that same live stream, let's say it's like two hours long, and you chop it up into individual videos that you then put on YouTube and get paid for again. Just imagine that. Imagine being super talented at understanding social media platforms without really being taught how the YouTube and Instagram algorithms work. Like Nate O'Brien or Graham Stephan, they're both really good at creating content on YouTube that racks up millions and millions of views. So they put together online courses that show people how to grow their YouTube channels and they show them everything that they know about YouTube. And they've also charged people for one-on-one -on -one coaching calls so they can get that direct one-on-one -on -one advice on how to grow their YouTube channels. Same thing for Andre Zik. He went from zero to one million subscribers in two years on YouTube, and he just made over a million dollars on YouTube last year alone. There's Matt Diabella who has a YouTube channel about personal growth where he has almost 3 million subscribers in addition to well over 300,000 followers on Instagram. And because of his success on YouTube, he has a documentary on Netflix. He's been featured on Forbes, Business Insider, and he just built an entire platform for all of his courses and products called Slow Growth. 
where he houses his simple habits course and he also houses his products such as notebooks to track your growth, which by the way, he promotes through his Instagram. We've got YouTubers like Kevin Samuels and that's a funny dude. He'd be telling people how it is, but he's an image consultant, right? And what he does is he leverages his audience through YouTube and through Instagram into his image consultant business, which he hosts on his own website. And he does live shows on his YouTube channel at night where he has people call in and ask him questions and talk to him. And he does the same exact thing on Instagram too. And his live shows go a long time too. It could be from two to three hours. And just like what I, the example I said earlier, he takes these live streams, right? And then he chops them up into individual videos because with each phone call is a different topic, right? So it makes a different topic for each video and then he posts them on, on his YouTube channel. And it is, it is genius because that constantly feeds his channel with views and subscribers. He's recently blown up. I just found his channel like maybe a month ago and he was at like 197,000 subscribers. Now he's like pushing 330,000 subscribers at the time of this recording. So I think it's pretty easy to see how you can scale these already profitable side hustles even further by simply building an audience and leveraging online platforms. And if you notice the trend in this video, you'll see that little to no money is required to start these side hustles, yet they're extremely profitable and they can even earn you passive income. And if you don't know what passive income is, or if you just wanna learn more about it, check out my passive income video right after this. But anyways, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can control you, control your finances and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Stay cold.